Hey guys, what's going on? Gonna dive into the Coronamid world tonight. Um, something that I am far from an expert in, but um, something that I, I keep learning a little bit more about every day. And um, there's just so many new, innovative things coming out right now that it's it's tough to keep up with everything, but um, and do the best I can. So this this one. Tonight's gonna be the kind of an old fashioned, I guess it's old fashioned now, is the, the ice cream cone. Uh, and it'll be a little bit of a blended ice cream cone with kind of a red, kind of a red butt, uh, blended up into a into a black body. And it's it's already got the, the white bead on, on the head to kind of represent the gills of, a, of an emerging coronamid. So uh, this one is on a size 16 natural bend hook. Uh, we've got a three, I think this is a 2.3 millimeter bead. Um, I guess one thing I've, I've learned about coronamids is uh, smaller is better and thinner is better. When I first started tying these things, mine were massive and I had giant beads on them and um, I've slowly over time just made them a bit, a bit smaller. So uh, this bead is, is maybe even a little bit big for this, this size of hook. This is a size 16. Um, but it, uh, it should still work. So um, we're gonna start with the red. Uh, this is a UTC 70 red thread. And we'll, uh, we'll build up the majority of the body with, um, with the red thread. And we're gonna go one wrap after another all the way to the back of the hook. And building up the relatively smooth taper of this fly is important. And then I'm gonna come all the way back to the, to behind the bead. And we should already have a decent, a decent thread base built up. Start to throw some wraps behind the bead. And at this point, uh, I am using for the rib on this fly is extra small, um, extra small UTC red wire. And this stuff is pretty thin. You could probably get away with small for this size, but um, for this particular fly, I like the, like the, rib to be fairly fine. So we tie the wire on top of the fly and I'm just gonna keep it on top of the fly as we wrap our threads back. I'm gonna work that all the way back to the bend of the hook. There we go. And then again all the way back up to the to behind the bead. And now we're just gonna build up a bit of a taper and make my way all the way up to the bead. And then we're gonna go back to, I usually take it back to about the halfway point. And then one wrap after another, make our way back up to the, behind the bead. And then we'll go back to about the three quarters point. And then back up behind the bead. And that gives us a pretty solid thread base. So we'll throw in a whip finish. And now we'll grab some UTC 70, and this is gonna be the predominant color of the fly. And we're gonna start right behind the bead. And with this one, we're gonna try to keep the thread wraps tight. And then as I get further down the fly, we're gonna spread them out a little bit tell about, I don't know, that's probably 
about the third point, and then we're gonna slowly start to work our way back up. Try to leave a little bit of red thread showing at the beginning, and then make sure there's no, no red showing as we work our way back up to behind the bead. There we go. And now when we wrap our rib, I think, I think a coronamid has eight segmentations, about approximately eight segmentations, which means three, we're gonna want seven thread wraps or thread wire wraps. Five, six, and seven. That takes us right up behind the bead. A couple good tight wraps. Should be able to break that off. And then we'll slip in a whip finish. And at this point, you can lots of different finishes for the fly, but um, for almost all of mine, I just use Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails. And I'm just gonna, I'll usually put probably two or three coats of this, two or three coats of this on the fly, but for the sake of the video, we'll only do one. Just make sure you get it all over the entire fly. If there's any kind of globs of it. So I'll let that dry for a few minutes and then, and then put on another coat, another coat or maybe two. Um, and that just gives a nice finish to the fly. And that's all there is. Uh, that's the, ice cream cone coronamid with a little red red thread butt to it.